being a teacher to me, um, it's a passion of mine because I just love seeing kids grow and being able to build those relationships and then help them just succeed in life later. Teacher Ariel Crump's classroom of 27 first, second and third grade students is calm and peaceful. I would like to compliment Maddie for always trying her best no matter what. And that's from Summer. Thank you, Summer. Each day in Crump's classroom begins in a circle with students like encouraging one another. Maddie. I would like to compliment Morgan for working hard every day. The Cincinnati area native is a teacher at Pleasant Ridge Montessori School and says she was inspired to teach the learning style after attending Montessori herself as a child. I attended Montessori as a child and I wanted to be able to give children that same experience through Montessori and just doing the philosophy of Montessori in a public school setting because in a lot of places it's only offered in private schools. So I wanted to be able to give back to students in a public school setting like that was also Montessori. She approaches the challenge of teaching her students, many from different backgrounds and different learning styles, with ease, helping each student as they work through math problems, grammar exercises, and art projects. It would be a preposition because it's describing the position of something, right? I think overall I'm a nurturer because I'm teaching them, you know, like you said, the foundational skills. I'm teaching them how to read. I'm teaching them how to count. I'm teaching them how to write. I'm also trying to help their social emotional learning needs. So making sure that they eat lunch, making sure that they get home safely. Um, so I think just nurturing the whole well-being of the child to make sure their needs are met all together. She says it's her passion for teaching her students and the school's community that keeps her walking through the door. I think it's just such a great place to be at here specifically that it just keeps me smiling and ready to come in each day and just help build new relationships and foster the current relationships and continue to foster that love of learning. A ceremony on May 22nd will honor the finalists and the semifinalists will announce the winner of the 2024 Educator of the Year Award. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.